for MacSources.com. I'm Robin, and this is a review of Moby's Magic Feet Universal Charging Station. First of all, it is still wrapped in plastic, so I'm just going to make a couple little cuts here to open the plastic. box. Um, Moby does a really nice job of packaging. Um, on the inside it's got a quick start guide like most of their products do. They also have a introducing magic feet and another user manual. They have this really nice rubber packaging here that's also got their logo on it which I'm not sure if you can see it very well. It's this cut out here in the center. And then it shows what all is inside. As you can see here, this is the charging station, and then they've also got the cable and the cylinder rechargeable battery. All of this fits in very snugly, which is really nice because when you're packaging something, you want it to be nice and tight. Here you can see the charging station. And that is the battery pack. And then we've got the power adapter. Which is actually quite substantial. <laughs> now that we've got all the pieces out of the box, I would like to take you through the steps of actually just putting this together. As you can see, we have the charging station here. We have the Apple wireless keyboard, Apple Magic Mouse, Apple Magic Trackpad, the charging cylinder from Moby, the uh, AA battery pack from Moby, we've got the micro USB cable for the charging station, and then we've also got the AC power for the charging station as well. I'm going to get started with the Apple wireless keyboard. What you want to do is you want to take a penny, works really well, or any sort of small screwdriver, and you just want to unscrew the tip here where the batteries go in. I've already removed the batteries from this, but if you've got them in there, you want to take them out. And then you take the cylinder right here, which replaces the batteries. You kind of push as you screw it in. It does fit nice and tight, so you don't have to worry about that slipping out of place. And then you just set it down on the charging station and then slide it into place. When it's in place, this little light will come on here indicating that it is turned on and charging. Now, the same thing is true of the Magic Trackpad. You want to take a penny, just like the keyboard, and unscrew the end. Again, I've already removed the batteries from here. And then you want to take the cylinder charger, and screw that in. That also slides into the same spot as the keyboard, so obviously you can't charge the two at the same time with this. Now, with the Magic Mouse, what I found here, the charging pack replaces the entire um, little piece right there. And this actually, it does slide into the same spot as the cover did, but it is kind of a snug fit, so you kind of really have to work with it a little bit to get it to fit into place. But once it is, it is nice and snug. And then once this is in place, all you have to do to charge it is to set it down on this flat surface up here. It uses inductive charging technology just like the charging the magic charger does for the magic mouse from Moby. So it's a very nice complement. I'm gonna move these off of here for a minute. Now something else I want to show you about the charging station is that it has four USB ports on it so it can be used as a USB dock. There's one here, one here, one up here, and on the opposite side, one on this side too. In order to plug in the, US, the micro USB, if you flip it over so you're looking at the bottom and then you can read the Moby logo right there, the USB part plugs in to the bottom here. And then on the opposite side of that is where the power adapter plugs in. 
And I have noticed that uh, the power adapter plug sticks out just a little bit from the keyboard, but it is pushed in all the way and it does snap into place. So there you have it, the Moby Magic Feet Universal Charging Station. It's a great addition to any desktop that uses Apple wireless devices. For MacSources.com, I'm Robin, and this has been a review of the Moby Magic Feet. Thank you.